We're here with the head coach and general manager of the Green Bay Gamblers, Pat Mickish. The Green Bay Gamblers ripped three or four points this past weekend with a win over the Chicago Steel at home here on Saturday night and then getting a point on the road in Waterloo. Let's start with that Waterloo game at Young Arena uh, this past Friday night. I just want to get your thoughts on that game. It was a hard-fought game. You guys pick up a point on the road. Yeah, I really liked our first two periods. I thought playing on the big ice for the first time, we were playing real well, had some great transition. and. Uh, Waterloo kind of turned it over on us a little bit in that third period and, and put a lot of pressure on us and our goaltending had to be real strong so uh, David played well kept us in the game and then uh, it came down to a nice power play goal by Waterloo to win it in overtime. And then on Saturday night I thought after a tough start in the first period the team really responded. Yeah it was one of our poorest starts and uh, you know we've been talking about starts and wanting to be more consistent that way but we just we weren't uh, locked into our D zone. We were giving up second chance opportunities, and it was a game that could have got out of control if Max wasn't so good in net. And uh, but great response by our guys. You know that second and third period was played uh, the, the right way. Alex Drake, their goaltender, it seems like they, he's had success in this league. But one thing I thought you guys did very well on Saturday night was get traffic out in front of the net, make it very difficult for him. Yeah, we started to create those second chance opportunities we've talked a lot about. And, you know, the, the first one was we had three, four guys at the net, and it was actually Alexis Binner getting rewarded with that rebound. And then Josh Dunn winning a battle shortly thereafter, and Matt Berkovitz finding him at the post. And then, uh, you know, we kind of got a fortunate one in that third one, but it comes from the fact that we did have people going to the net. We threw a puck towards the net, and, you know, one of the weaker goals that he's probably going to give up all year, but it was one of those ones that we were doing things the right way. I just thought it was cool being in the players' tunnel, coming out for the second period. Jared Spooner gave the speech to the guys that you play for the front of the jersey, the name on the front of the jersey, not on the back. I just, I know I've said this time and time again, I really love the leadership on this team. Yeah, I mean, we, we couldn't be happier. I mean, they've done everything we've asked, and, and I think it's important that everybody does buy into that. I mean, we have to be a team first, and that's the only way you're going to win in this league. I mean, every team has great individuals, but you need to have a great team to win, and, and especially to be a real consistent team. Fast forward this week, you guys have Youngstown here at home before you head on the road to Bloomington for a pair of games. Anything change in the preparation, knowing that you have a holiday between... Uh, three games? Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of a quicker turnaround, obviously, but uh, with the Monday, Tuesday, we won't be as hard in the weight room as we would be with a with a Friday, Saturday weekend in front of us, so we'll just uh, prepare for Youngstown the same way we prepare for everybody and try to make sure we're on top of our game, and you know, they're, they're playing a really good brand of hockey right now, we're coming off a big win in Tri-City, so it's important for us to prepare properly, but and go out and play the game the right way. We appreciate your time, Pat, this morning, and good luck the rest of the way this week. Alright, thanks. Have a great Thanksgiving.